about that rest piece. Oh, yeah. So it's like a progression. Like, I love sucking dicks with my butthole, and mine's like, what the fuck you let? And then you're like, I hate people. That's right. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the 10th episode of Misbehavior. I am your host, Ariana, and this is my beautiful co-host, Missy, and my other beautiful co-host, Ronald. And today we are going to drink some craft beer. Misbehavior! (laughs) All right, so... Our, did we just like introduce all the beers or we introduce one? <laughs> How many times I, can't remember. Remember. I, I, I honestly, I, I think we're supposed to like say we have this and we have this and then we go into detail I on the first one. Go ahead. Okay. So I'll just start with the mystery and then I'll do the last one as our first one that I introduced. So as always, the Dos Equis, Mysterious Berries. I feel like I'm echoey or something. I don't, know. I don't hate it, but I feel, you know, like kind of like God as I'm talking now because I'm like, oh. the goddess Ariana. Oh, yeah. And then from Country Boys Brewing, we have Shotgun Wedding. Sounds and then our first beer of the episode is Urban Artifacts Sugar Plum, Ooh. which is a plum and vanilla American fruit tart, and it is 7.2%. ABV and uh, let's see, reward the curious. All brewed with fruit, spice, and lactose, brewed by Urban Artifact in Cincinnati, Ohio. So I understand why that would be delicious with the uh, carrot cake. So, yeah. so, for those that aren't seeing the pile, is a lovely cake on the table. So, yes, um, I made carrot cake for Ron's birthday the other day, and I happened to drink one of these with the carrot cake, and it paired very well together. But anyway, here is the can. I can't. I can't see. Oh yeah. We got some cool can art here. So it's pretty well, okay can art. So what's the can art of? Um, it's purple and it has a elf looking, elven looking guy running with a knife, and he's got like a little pouch. Is that how you're interpreting this? I am now. See, I didn't see the ear, and I thought it was an old lady running with a knife. Was like a, I thought it was a first, lady at first, too. I thought too. it was like a lady at first, too, but looking like they're wearing like a purple skirt or maybe like a war kilt, um, but like some like bluish armor kind of thing. Yeah. Pretty cool. Very Pretty cool. cool. Okay. So we are going to eat a piece of cake as we drink this beer. Bukkake. Bukkake. It's Ron's Bukkake. Um, another thing, if you're um, only listening and not watching, me and Ariana got Ron a nifty little shirt for his birthday, and it says, I love sucking dicks with my butthole. And I am so glad that he wore it because I knew he was going to put it on, you know, before recording. And I made a bet with Larry, and he said, Dude, Ron will not wear that. And I said, Oh, yes, he will. And I, I did not, I didn't even ask Ron to wear it. I was apparently not allowed to be asked to wear it or something. I couldn't let you know about the bet, and I couldn't tell you to wear it, and you just took it upon yourself to put that right on, and it fits like a glove. Yes. With your butt hole. What's the ABV on this? Uh, 7.2, I think, is what it was. Okay. Yeah. And, and this, 7.2. This beer looks really fucking good. It's it, it's, uh, it's a peachy color. Peachy, purpley color. Um, it's yeah. one for you. Thank you, friend. It's very... Um, it's It's like... It's a, tr- it's not, it's translucent, like barely trans. It's mostly it's a, opaque. It's slightly hazy, and it's really pretty peach color. It's, it's, it's almost like peachy. fluorescent peach looking in the light. Well, yes, and you know, I guess since it's plum, like it's like the you know how the inside of a plum is extremely light compared yeah, to the dark, like really golden on the inside. So that's it's kind of how that is. It's like a golden peachish color so i know we talked about urban artifact last week because missy brought one in but i had some more information on them so i think she probably mentioned that they were in the basement of the historic saint patrick's catholic church um urban artifact actually this beer had a 3.99 rating on untapped and they have a um a quarterly club where you get so many beers per like three four times a year and you pay 59.99 for a box um and then let's see it would have three midwest fruit tarts one seasonal fruit tart and one rare or epicurean um like roughly that's what it said it would have and then um they also have something called the small batch society which is like limited 
production fruit tarts and like real made with real fruit and different food concept beer which is three small batches per month and the test their uh test batches for future release um usually experimental flavors so they have like an explorer option which is two of each beer and that's 45 dollars a box and they have an adventurer package which is like a four pack so of each those? beer for sixty dollars, they do ship them. I believe you have to get on and join the club. That's pretty bad. So I mean, I think that's kind of expensive. For sixty dollars for is. three four packs or forty five dollars for a six pack. I don't think you have expensive. to. I don't think you have to buy it every time. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't think, think you just you do. Join. You have to be part yeah, of the club. Yeah, you have to pay for it if you want the box. But like, you, I think it's free to be in the club. So I don't know if there's like other things you get. I mean, it's expensive, but if you consider like what we've paid for some of these singles, it's not hateful. I bet they're all shorties. Oh, I'm sure of that, but I mean, you get to be like, ooh, I got my box today, post pictures online and feel all cool and shit. True. And it looked like they had some pretty cool flavors because I was looking on their website and it just looked like they had some that I'd never heard of by them, you know, or never seen in the grocery stores that I've right. ooh, visited. This, this cake and um, this carrot cake and this plum beer, excellent shit. And right? Good it's good together. This So this beer, it's, it's a very... It's, I mean, it's not like an overly tart. It's got a really good flavor to it. It's definitely not a sour. It's just a tart. It, right. There, there's definitely a clear distinction that needs to be made there. Because this is still, like, it's... I feel like it has some, like, a spice to it. That's what I was thinking. I, I can tell there's a spice to I it. I don't get the lactose as much, though. Right. Yeah, I definitely don't get the lactose either. Don't get, I'm not getting the lactose now that I've had a few bites of the super sweet carrot cake. I wasn't getting it before either. I guess maybe it's slightly, but not. But yeah, I like. I was kind of shocked because I was like, you know what? I'm going to try this beer. I was going to try a different beer, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to try this one instead. And I think it was a really good choice because uh, yeah. it's like really refreshing after eating it this is. rich cake or something. I, I like how it, it, it's not too overly powerful of the taste. I mean, it's got a strong taste, but it's... It's like a pungently tart and i don't know how mm -hmm. that's because it's just it it's like a kick but it doesn't linger it just it, which is nice because i don't sometimes things can linger and it's pretty good and other times if it lingers it's like oh, okay i'm done tasting this now you know and it just leaves like a when it the taste lingers it, it's almost like it leaves a film in your mouth and this does not do that it's got a, a thinner feel to it and i don't really get the plum too much in it do you mm -mm. how often do you eat just plums though um, Often every enough, once in a while. Right. I love plums. Like when they're ripe, I'll buy some. Do you eat them when they get old and dried out? Mm hmm And they're called prunes mm -hmm. and they help you poop? Mm -hmm. Prunes taste good. I do. kind of good. I like prunes. I think they're delicious. Mm -hmm. Old people things. Guess who poops the best? Hey, I like figs. I've liked prunes since I was a little kid. I hated them. And I remember you liking them because I thought they were gross. Like when my daughter was small, we would always give her like prunes to help her shit. And she would be like, I want to eat the whole thing. I was like, no. That would be hilarious. I remember Ron had a, he had a girlfriend that made these prune brownies. And I remember him saying something about that. Like, you know, and then a few days later I hung out with him and we went to his girlfriend's house. And he's like, oh, hey, have these brownies. They're really delicious. He's like... They're fucking yummy. Eat a whole bunch of them. I was like, oh, okay. And I went to grab one. I'm like, wait a minute. I was like, these are those fucking prune brownies. And I ate one and they're pretty good. But I, you know, obviously wasn't going to eat a whole bunch of them like he suggested. They're the shit. He was trying to get literally. me to shit myself. <laughs> you know, what are friends for? Hey, you know what? I would have done the same to you, dude. I'm just trying to keep you regular, man. Right, exactly. You know. No one's all backed up or anything. Exactly. I really like the color of this. I do too. I think it's a really pretty color. I right. I, it, I mean, I'm glad it tastes good. See, I love the way it sits in the cup. It's almost sunrise-ish because, like, the middle it of is. the cup, it is really dark orange, and then it just dissipates to the outer outside of the the beverage, and it's like I can see the edges of it. It's really light, like yeah, a, like a really light it. peach and yellow. Yeah, it looks like almost clear around the edges. Mm -hmm. It's very sunrise like. It's hold very that weird. Can, or hold your thing up to the. Get your hand out of the way. Yeah, move your fat ass hand. No, Go down a little bring bit. Bring it back some. Good. Tip it to the side a little bit. <laughs> I'll put it upside down. <laughs> now stick it up your ass. 
Uh, now shake it for mama. <laughs> oh, these ladies, these lovely ladies. They got me this awesome, you know, I, I'll suck dick with my butthole shirt. I hope you wear it. The problem is Out it's, and a about. it's a pretty damn comfortable t-shirt. I won't lie. I hope it stays comfortable. And you were just talking about needing shirts, too. There you go. Like, fucking just everything. We handed you everything, dude. You better not forget about us, ever. I will never forget about you. <laughs> There's so many therapy bills and so that, much trauma. Wear that shirt daily. <laughs> So much trauma from you guys. Where to your daughter's graduation? I feel like... You know, I'm going to get home well after curfew so that Jack has to be home. But I feel like this is the perfect thing to wear around her boyfriend. I do. That's what I was thinking. He he, he keeps doing things like, Huh, I've taken your picture and I put it on Facebook, okay? You were sitting there wearing a Minnie Mouse hat and I put a picture of you on Facebook, okay? You were playing video games. I'm going to put it on on the city Facebook page. And I care why. What a loser. He's like trying to cyber bully me like I'm a fucking high school and I'm like, all right, bro. And your point is, there's pictures of me in drag on the fucking You're internet. You're like, I put way more embarrassing pictures. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, there's fucking pictures of me in drag addressed as Frankenfurter, dude. Shit that's now illegal in like, what, like fucking Arkansas or some shit. Tennessee. 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 That's just a drag show, though, isn't it? Right. I don't know. I uh, was hearing, because people were concerned about it, they're like, well, what if your daughter wants to go to the store and get, uh, which I don't like, you know, they make a rule and people blow it out of proportion when really people aren't going to notice. Right. You could teach your kids that everybody's different. Right. And because like somebody, bad, though. somebody said, well, what if your daughter just, she, she doesn't find women's jeans comfortable and she'd rather wear a men's pair of jeans. And then because she's wearing them, it could be a crime and she could get in big trouble for it. I'm like, yeah, I don't think they're going to arrest her for wearing a dude's pair of jeans. They just literally they wouldn't fucking know. They definitely bust my ass for wearing <laughs> some like tight coochie cutters though. But, but the thing of it is, like, what if you're wearing men's jeans but just cut the legs real fucking short? That's where you got a ball sack hanging out. Ball sack. Like, dude, they're dude's jeans. So gross. The ball sack hanging out or the fucking illegalness of the... Yeah. Okay, I put the wrong... Let's see. Plum. Hmm. So, how would we rate this beer? Oh, this is a good four. I was going to say, I'd give it at least four. <laughs> but I'm not four. Out the cake first. So, four. I, I am going to also state that... I think a uh, four also. I, I'm going to rate Ariana's carrot cake a five. Yeah. Hell yeah. The, the, this uh, lovely lady sitting next to me does amazing work with food. And that carrot cake she made for my birthday. you got to pee on your microphone. So, so y'all ought to collab. Sorry. She should make the carrot cake and you need to turn it into a beer. She just makes a carrot cake and gives you the whole thing and you turn it into a beer. Carrot cake beer. I mean, it'd be possible. I did have one once that was absolutely delicious. It was a really good one. There was a carrot cake beer I had at uh, the little tap house in the town where I work at. And it was right after I quit my job at uh, Yogurt Land. And I stopped there because I hadn't been in before. And they had this uh, carrot cake beer and they rimmed it. They rimmed the glass, not me. Uh, they're in the glass with uh, brown sugar and uh, cream oh cheese. God, that sounds delicious. I remember, I remember you telling us about it. That was some fucking awesome shit. <coughs> the only carrot cake beer I've ever had, I believe it's the only carrot cake beer I ever had, was the one by Sonder. Was that, I think that was just carrot. Was it carrot was cake it, or just I carrot? I thought it was a carrot have cake. Have we done a carrot cake on here? I, don't, I kind of think we I have. I feel like we, I was thinking the only thing carrot cake I've had is a soda, but I think maybe I have had a carrot cake beer before too. I don't know. I know we went to Sonder before. Maybe that was when we did it Could at be. Sonder. I don't know. That was that was well before Butt Plug even, wasn't it? No, that was. Was it? That was. Butt I Plug? think that was like our twentieth episode or something like that. Was it? No, fuck. I don't know. I thought because I know we recorded there, and I think it was the second yeah. time we recorded because the first time we went to like the two breweries in Dayton. Okay. Okay. I don't know if it was that day that. Uh, I thought it was the day we went to Berkus. Was it that a different day? No, because she did not go to Berkus. Yeah, I didn't go to that. Okay, I thought that was the day we had the carrot cake beer. Nope, unless maybe you had it before. I don't remember maybe. having a carrot cake beer at Sonder. Maybe though. we did have it that day we went to Berkus. Because maybe because I, I, I was thinking we had it when she was there. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. It, it was a good cake, good beer. What would, would do again? So one of the things you'd mentioned is that uh, you said there in which the, the basement of St. Patrick's Church. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, this coming week is the beer holiday that everybody likes. It is St. Patty's Day. 
had yep. an outfit. I forgot to wear it. And unfortunately, I didn't think things through, and I didn't think to buy any kind of Irish beers for that. So but, uh, maybe we'll next for, week. We'll, we will make up for that next week. Um, we'll have our slightly delayed St. Patrick's Day. Patty's Day. Ouch. Patrick's Day. We'll just say it's because we were drunk. There you go. So how would you guys describe this beer? Thin, tart. Fruity. Thin, fruity, tart. I got light Mm -hmm. and hazy. Mm, Flavorful. Flavorful. Paired amazing with cake, but that's not really something you can put on the uh, untapped, is it? I don't think so. I looked up, they have some weird words on there that I had no fucking idea. And I was going to go through and like write down what some of them mean because I was like, I don't know what this is. There was like some word on there and it meant like cheesy or something. And I don't know. Like a cheesy flavored beer? Like a, there. That would be weird. I'm like thinking cheesy and beer and I'm just thinking it tasted like big cheese. Right. <clears throat> so I actually started doing that last week. I got acetaldehyde. I don't know how you say it. A strong fruity odor. Um, burns easily. Can make breathing difficult. Acetic vinegar scent. Autolyse. Mix water and flour for bread. Like Jesus. like weird shit. I'm like, what? <laughs> so there's like scent. a whole... What was that, uh, that shitty wine that I made that one time? It was just basically vinegar? Right, yeah. It was not basically vinegar. It was basically um, embalming fluid. That was fucking hideous. So they got caddy. I'm like, what does caddy mean? And just like... Tastes like pussy. And a beer sense, you know? Like, what does that mean? Or ash or Bakelite. Bakelite's like a plastic, plastic, right? Yeah. Like, it tastes like plastic. (laughs) Yeah. I don't know. That, That feels like it'd be like a British thing. Oh, this beer tastes like Bakelite because they have like a lot more Bakelite plastic over there, I feel like. I don't know. But yeah, some of this stuff, I'm like, I don't know what this means like in relation to beer. Vegetal? I don't know what... Vegetal? Isn't that like a British thing? I don't know what Vegemite. the fuck... Vegemite. Vegemite. Right. Vegemite's like... This like shit. Vegemite. Vegemite. That's like shit that Australians put on sandwiches instead of like peanut butter. That's so... Yeah, that's weird. And some of this stuff I've heard of, but I'm like, I don't know what it is like in relation to beer. So I wrote it down and I was going to look it up so I can like describe our beers better. Right. I was mean. looking at that. Because this, I want to describe it as pungent. But it's not quite... I, I feel like pungent is like a... Pungent's a negative sounding kind of a thing? Not necessarily. It's just, If it's just, just pungent, like it almost... Just odor. Right. Cause like if, you, if something's pungent in the, the way that it smells, I think it would make your nose tingle. Hmm. And so like that taste, it, it would just... It probably like something that's pungent would maybe make your mouth pucker. like Or maybe just like a... Have like a tingling type sensation in that aspect. But it's... I also it feel like... It be really strong. Right, I feel like pungent would be more not so sour and fruity, but like it would almost be more. Um, I feel like boozy would be pungent, kind of. Right. See, if I think of pungent, I think of something like a um, like a almost but not quite bad meaty flavor. That's what I think of when I think of pungent. Not, I'm, you know, well, or like uh, like a highly a fer- strong cheese, a highly is, fermented, is my, yeah, strong cheese. So like. It, it, not if, if it does to you what a strong cheese would, it's just very pungent, like the, a strong flavor that's got like a kick to it, like a punch. Like a, like a good Munster cheese, some of the cheese that smells a little feedy. So I don't even think Munster's very feedy. It would be like a, like Swiss is pungent. Okay. Okay, I get it. So it, you know, it's just got, it might like, I don't know, pungent cheese like that makes your mouth water, like. Dry. It just it, it just just makes your mouth drool, so yeah, it would. I mean, I guess that would that tart flavor kind of does make your mouth like salivate, so it could be pungentish. Okay. Here we go. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> so what did we get into this last weekend, kids? Anything good? Well, not that I can think of. I don't think I had anything. anything awful. Dude, I ended up spending a shit ton of money on my car. And have to spend more money on my car. And that's always suck balls. It does suck balls. I spend a bunch of money on my bike, so I'm feeling it. I was thinking, like, okay, I need to chill out on spending money because I've been, like, buying too much stuff, like, for around the house and stuff like this and, like, things like that lately. 
and I'm like, okay, I need to chill out on like spending money for a while, and then it's like, bam, right? The brakes you are see, almost you, out. You bam, start you spending more money when you tell yourself that you're like, fuck, man, I told myself I, I was going to do this. Like, fuck me, motherfucker. I, I told myself I'm going to stop spending money, and I mean it. And so far, it's happening. And then I got a letter in the mail stating about all the school fees that need paid. I'm going, huh, cool. Uh, sends letter to the ex. Have fun. If she doesn't, it, it's all on you now because I'm done. I'm still going to end up paying it. I'm sure of that. But it's the you know the thought that counts. Bitter. <laughs> very bitter. Very bitter. So bitter. <laughs> See, I think you do hate people, Ron. I think you're sick of people. I never said I didn't hate people. Oh. Uh, there's specific ones I dislike more. Right? No oh. No network connection. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's she weird. lost her interwebs. So, I've never seen anything like that. Your interwebs died? You go fuck yourself. Straight talk. There you go. <laughs> Straight talk. Oh, is that what you have? Yeah. I, I liked that when I had it, but, you know. I have trouble with it a lot. It's, right. It, it was really nice Who's to have it because it was super cheap, but yeah. it's... Whose network just straight talk went off of? Is it Verizon or something? I think it is AT&T and I think Verizon. it was everybody. Depending on which phone you have. I thought huh. it was pretty much anybody. Like, it would hit whatever tap. Yeah, well, yeah, depending on what you had. Whatever's closest and best signal. Well, it's whatever phone model you have. Certain models run off of different things. Nah. Uh, so they're because like, when I had them, I had to make sure I bought an AT&T-based phone. So that way, because if I had um, Verizon, then it would suck. Huh. Because Verizon sucks as most for well, I'll stick with my free work phone with Verizon and my pay phone with AT&T. Maybe don't come around. Nice. Good times. <laughs>